Hello, and thanks for joining us again for this week's Fastest 4 Minutes in Finance. While consumers have endured the past two years of higher than normal inflation, it's how they are doing it that is starting to raise some red flags for the economy. Last week, the New York Fed released data that showed credit card debt has reached a record high $986 billion. Balances grew by $61 billion in the fourth quarter of 2022 alone. That was the largest quarterly increase ever. The rate at which credit card users missed their monthly payments and became more than 90 days behind is also on the rise. The average credit card interest rate is now near 20%. That's the highest in 37 years. The strapped American consumer is getting hit with a double whammy. Higher prices that make it more difficult for their dollars to buy the same things they used to, and higher interest rates that will make it more difficult to pay back what they borrow. For the overall U.S. economy, this highlights the reality that which way the economy will be decided by a hard deadline somewhere in the future. Americans can only endure the current economic environment for so long. Either inflation needs to come down, interest rates need to come down, or workers need a bigger raise. And really, all three need to happen. But as we often say at GenWealth Financial Advisors, the economy matters less than your economy. What this really means is control what you can control. You can't control inflation or interest rates, but you can control your spending. If your dollar is not going as far as it used to, evaluate what you're spending money on. If you decided to take a vacation or buy new furniture and you're willing to put it on a credit card knowing that you can't pay off the balance, that's a decision you should not make. If you're carrying a large credit card balance, make a plan to attack it and get rid of it. There is plenty of debt elimination software available online that will show you how to do that. You could also find a financial advisor to help create the plan and provide accountability to successfully work it. If you are cash strapped to the point you are paying for groceries, gas, or other necessities with a credit card and can't pay off the balance, take a look first at why. What else are you spending money on? Are you spending too much for rent, paying too much for your car? And what about monthly subscriptions? Can you eliminate some, of all, some or all of them and save some money? The secret to staying out of credit card debt is creating margin. Margin between your income and expenses. If the margin is too thin, you'll be tempted into borrowing, not to mention you won't be saving for the future. So when an emergency expense comes around, you'll have to borrow even more. Working with a financial advisor to create a comprehensive financial plan can help put you on the right path. So no matter what happens this year in the economy, you are improving yours. Thanks for listening.